Man, Walter White would make a killing out here, nigga. <laughs> Welcome to Buckeye Park in East Dublin, Georgia. There's not a lot of diversity here. Really? <laughs> That's Mac Davis. He started the Redneck Games in 1996. Oh, the Redneck Games are just as old as I am. I, I feel honored. <laughs> At the start of the event, Elbow lights the ceremonial barbecue grill with the beer can torch. Let's get it down, boy! Here we go, light it up! <laughs> Wait, that's, that's the honorary barbecue grill right there, dude? Man, they just set a bacon pan on fire. <laughs> Man, George Foreman wouldn't even touch that thing, dude. The Redneck Games features live music and dancing. What What's going on, man? Hey, this is Grandma's last year, so let's give it up for the Grandma. Let's go, Grandma. <laughs> Man, that's Paula Dean, bro. <laughs> what's, she, what's she doing out here, bro? <laughs> Elbow is always around to pose for pictures and drink beer. Lots of beer. Bruh, how is this nigga elbow everywhere at the same time, my nigga? Like, I've seen him in 20 different shots already. Some may right, nigga. I think they cloned this nigga or something. Just watch out for the gators. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't don't trust this sister. Don't trust it. How you, don't trust this sister. First of all, how'd you get there? Like what happened? Oh, I have a lot of questions for you, sister. Some ain't right. This is, this is get out. This is get out three, then. <laughs> Freight train scoops up an apparent reporter covering the event. Oh, she's a reporter. All right, well, hurry up and get out of there, because, oh, man. <laughs> all right, I can tell what bootleg Hulk Hogan's doing now. He's just trying to fill all the girls, nigga. <laughs> That nigga feeling good right now. I already know this nigga got a ton of pending Me Too cases, nigga. <laughs> and half of them are his relatives, nigga. <laughs> but, but no offense to my rednecks out there. Uh, keep keep doing y'all. And and stop doing y'all sisters. But that's a whole nother story. Hold it up, Bill. You're a champion of oh, the Redneck Games. Bill from Florida Bill wins the hot... Did we have to say Bill from Florida? Like, where else was he going to be from, nigga? <laughs> well, uh, a respect. What was it gonna be from Maine? <laughs> Next, I witnessed the armpit serenade competition. <laughs> it, just, it just gets dumber and dumber, nigga. <laughs> You're a long way from home, The goal here is just, just, nigga, just look at that for a second and, and tell me if you would trust his scientific analysis of the shape of the Earth, nigga. Be, be real. I mean, sure, he could be right, but. Is he though? Like really, nigga? Now, if he wanted to tell me about the the proper velocity for an armpit fart, hey, bro, be my guest. Like you, you the subject matter expert. But the Earth, nigga? Like really? <laughs> I'm not listening to you, nigga. That's their mating call. <laughs> but there's a tie that must be broken. <laughs> oh, look at look at little man mixing it up. <laughs> Yeah, now that's talent. All right. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, three-time champion. So he's an expert. That little nigga, he 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 got the juice. <laughs> he went for the three p. He he did little. He did what LeBron could never do. <laughs> hey, no offense to LeBron though, but hey, nigga, my little nigga got you beat, bro. <laughs> The hubcap hurling competition. It's like ultimate frisbee for for people who can't afford frisbees. But who can't afford a frisbee? <laughs> Man, this is just egregious right here, bro. <laughs> like, you can afford a frisbee. I know you can. If you can afford meth, you can afford like twelve frisbees, my nigga. The rednecks party long into the night as they chug their beer. Now, see, I really hope the reporter was gone by now. You know what I'm saying? Cause <laughs> party into the night. Uh uh, nigga. Uh-uh. <laughs> While the redneck band played redneck music. Redneck music. The house next door to me. Well, that that was something. Uh yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Oh my god. Get her done. Well, uh at its core, the redneck games is is it's, it's just it, it's a lot of people, you know, just having fun. So, 
I can't, I can't hate on that part of it, but you know, you know, everything around it, I can't. <laughs> Look, man, I mean, I wouldn't go to it, you know what I'm saying? Because, well, I mean, I, I, aside from the obvious reason why I wouldn't go to it, it just don't look like, like, fun for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to be jumping in no mud, I ain't trying to throw no uh, trash can lids at people, and and I, I can't get a mullet, like, I can barely get a hairline. I'm just, I'm just not built for it, you know what I'm saying? So... I mean, the people there look like they had a great time, so shout out to them, but, you know, for me, I gotta, you know, I, I gotta, I got a reputation to uphold, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, I don't know, man, I, I wouldn't go to it, but it does look like the people there were having fun, so shout out to them, and if I had to give the Redneck Games a rating, I'd give them uh, 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 a a five point. Seven one out of uh, seven point one five <laughs> with a point deducted for obvious reasons. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, my nigga, like, what you expect? I mean, I saw a whole lot of Confederate flags out there, and last time I checked, uh, yeah, it ain't 1863. So, what, what you want from me? <laughs> but that's all I got. So, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching this whole thing, and I hope I can only hope that you have a fantastic day. All right, until next time, love, peace, and uh, the opposite of soul. <laughs> peace out, y'all. Oh, boy.